Okay, today we're gonna learn a little bit more about number lines and we're just gonna do some tips and tricks for plotting a number in the correct place on a number line. So let's just cut out and glue down our page. Okay, so we are going to put a point at four and 75 hundredths. So there are three steps that you can work through when you need to find a point on a number line. So let's do step one together. So step one says, what is the interval of the ticks? So here are the ticks. And what is the interval? Now remember, the interval is what it's counting by. So it says, don't just guess, count each tick from the beginning to the end to make sure you're right. So it looks like we're counting by tenths. So we're just gonna test it. Four, four and one tenth, four and two tenths, four and three tenths, four and four tenths, four and five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, four and nine tenths, five. So our interval is counting by tenths. So our interval is one tenth, or maybe you wrote one tenth. Either way is fine. Okay, so we know our interval, so that's step one. It can get tricky because not every interval is by ones. Sometimes you might be counting by two tenths or five tenths. You don't always count by one tenths. So you can't just look at it and guess. Always do what we just did and double check your work. Okay, step number two is to label each tick. So the ones that aren't labeled, we're gonna go ahead and label. So here we're at one, four, and here we're at four and one tenth. The next one is gonna be four and two tenths. To me, it's easier to write the decimal, so I'm gonna write it as a decimal. Four and two tenths. So next would be four and three tenths. Four and four tenths. Next would be four and five tenths. Four and six tenths. Four and seven tenths. Four and eight tenths. Four and nine tenths. Five. Taking the time to label your ticks will help make sure you don't get the problem wrong. All right, step three. Are your ticks in the same interval as your point? What does that mean? All right, so here we're looking at our point is at four and 75 hundredths. This number goes to the hundredths. So far, we only labeled to the tenths not the hundredths. It's like having dimes and not pennies. So they're not the same. If they were, we would just put our number line. So if it was just 4.7 and we didn't have the five, we would just put it right there. But it's not. It goes to the hundredths place. So since it's not, we have to draw additional ticks to divide the interval into hundredths and then place your point. So remember, if you have a tenth, so we already have tenths, and you wanna divide it into 10 equal parts, each part would be a, a hundredth. So what we have to do is we have to go between four and seven tenths and four and eight tenths and divide it into 10 equal parts to make a hundredth. So if I have 4.7, I just need to make 10 equal parts. So here's one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts, six parts, seven parts, eight parts, nine parts, 10 parts. So basically, if you use your imagination, you can imagine that those purple little lines are one of these. So a hundredth would just be one of these. So four and 70 hundredths would be right here. And this would be four and 71 hundredths, four and 72 hundredths, four and 73 hundredths, all the way to four and 80 hundredths, which would be right here. So if we have to put four and 75 hundredths, we just have to go halfway. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So our point would go right there, four and 75 hundredths. 
So this is how you are going to work through putting points down on the number line. So in four and 75 hundredths is halfway between four and seven tenths and four and eight tenths. So this is a reference for you. Whenever you need to put points on number lines, you can always come back here and remember the tips and tricks to getting the right answer. So go ahead and add your page numbers to your new pages. You can add those pages to your decimals on a number line table of contents and also in the words that we learned to help us to solve these types of problems. I'll see you next time.